Hey guys, just making a quick video on how I managed to fix my Media Center PC. Uh, and yes, I'm recording on my Xperia XZ, so the video quality might be a little bit different from my usual camera. Now, unfortunately, the battery on this thing is almost dead, so it doesn't last for more than 5 minutes. So, uh, that's why I'm using my phone to do this video. But anyway, this is my Media Center PC. I built this myself back in 2011. Uh, this one's running a Core i3-2120 Sandy Bridge CPU, which is clocked at 3.3GHz. Uh, and this one's got 2GB of RAM, which is more than enough to uh, watch movies and stream music off of the internet. Currently, I'm load testing it because it wasn't working fine, so right now it appears as if this PC is working fine and the motherboard is Gigabyte B75M D3H and the graphics card on this thing is a GTX 550 Ti which is also a pretty old graphics card but uh, when I built this PC all of these components were up to spec so this was brand new this was the processor was brand brand new and this is the power supply it's working no problem so what actually happened was i updated the bios on this thing and it just stopped working uh it was stuck in a boot loop and basically nothing would happen uh when you turn on the uh, pc it would just start up then go then turn off then start up again then turn off then start up and sh it would show a splash screen on the uh, monitor it says gigabyte uh, gigabyte ultra durable motherboard and then it would just blue screen and it would shut off again and no matter what I did I could not get this thing to recover so I did remove the CMOS battery and I kept it overnight turned it back on in the next morning and still it would not start up uh, I used this jumper over there which says clear CMOS I cleared the CMOS settings and still it would not boot up. So ultimately uh, I was fed up of this thing and uh, I was just gonna hang it on my wall over here but I kind of took a little bit of risk over here. Uh, you can see this is a dual BIOS motherboard so this one has two BIOS. Uh, there is the M BIOS which is the BIOS number one, uh, B BIOS which is the BIOS number two. So I kind of gave up and took a little bit of risk here and what I did was I used my screwdriver to short out the pins on the BIOS number 1 so that the PC uh, so that the motherboard can detect, detect BIOS number 2 and boot up from BIOS number 2 and believe it or not guys it actually worked um, then when I started the uh, motherboard again it showed a message that your PC is uh, recovering uh, is recovering from BIOS number two because the data on the BIOS number one is corrupt and actually let me just show you a picture of what uh, what was coming on the screen so I did take a photo from my camera so this is the message that we got the main BIOS is corrupt the system will uh, will be recovered from the backup BIOS please do not power off or reset the system this may take a few minutes so this happened after I shorted out the pins of BIOS number one and yeah guys I don't really recommend that you try this sort of a thing at home uh, call a qualified PC technician and let him deal with it because this is indeed a risky business because you can electrostatically damage the motherboard uh, I tried this because I was kind of out of options because I tried basically everything I Remove the uh, remove the uh, CMOS battery. Waited for a day. Powered the system back up, and it still was stuck in a boot loop. I cleared the CMOS, and it was still stuck in a boot loop. Uh, I removed the graphics card. Tried the graphics card on my main PC. That didn't work. I removed the uh, replaced the CPU with that one. It still didn't work. Uh, these are almost the same generation CPU. That's a Core i7. Uh, Ivy Bridge CPU and this is a Sandy Bridge Core i3 CPU so this motherboard does support uh, Ivy Bridge and Sandy Bridge this is a LGA 1155 socket so uh, anyways back to the topic I tried replacing the CPU that didn't work I tried replacing the RAM 
that didn't work so I just took a risk shorted out the pins and uh, to my surprise it started up and uh, started recovering the first BIOS from the second BIOS now I have tried rebooting it I've tried shutting it down starting it up back again it does work no problems so yeah guys uh, this is how I managed to fix my media center PC now I can put this thing back in the uh, case and I can connect it to my TV yeah guys I don't really game on this thing uh, this is just a media center PC I use it for listening to my songs watching movies streaming uh, videos off of YouTube and yes I'm drawing the power for the hard drive off of my main PC uh, because I was just frustrated and I just didn't bother connecting these cables up over here but hey mission accomplished and yeah this did save me some money because otherwise I had to uh, go out buy a new CPU buy a new motherboard because I would have bought a new CPU because this thing is pretty old and I would have bought the latest core i3 CPU and a new motherboard new RAM but hey maybe I can squeeze a couple of more years out of it uh, maybe save some money to buy a new GPU for my gaming PC although I don't game really that much so yeah guys it is working fine no problems it is a little bit slow because uh, the RAM on this PC is just 2 gigabytes and I will buy some more RAM and increase it to 16 gigs so that it's much faster uh, maybe replace the hard drive with an SSD mm, I'm not sure about that because currently I don't have uh, enough money to do this but yeah it is working fine let me just give you a, a slightly different shot and yes the motherboard is GAB75M D3H I bought this motherboard and all of the different parts back in 2011 and this is the hard drive which I cloned the other day from my desktop PC so yeah guys thank you for watching this video and do stay tuned for more videos like these see you all later